so here I'm in the jungle and I may have done biggest mistake of my life or maybe greatest achievement I guess you can say I bought this house this is not connected to the grid right now and I need to do it before I can uh, do basically anything here because uh, there is no water in the like village that this is I get the water from the well so I need electricity for the water and also there's no sewage system so I will have to the sewage is right there uh, underground so they said to me that the previous owner was electrician and I was like okay well that's fine I guess okay so I was here looking at this like okay what the fuck and I okay what the actual fuck ah that's not great is it I mean whatever fine oh my god look at that it is hanging on the electrical wire fuck me I did not notice that but fine okay let's go here uh, excuse me um, okay well I like there's a box here I, I guess fine now this is I guess switch yep there's switch to the fucking heated something I mean okay fine but Okay, let's go there. Goes here. Uh, I mean, okay, sure, why not? There's a boiler. I mean, this is single phase, so I guess fine, but I mean, not really. And then this goes to the bathtub. Are you sure? <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. What the actual fuck? I would suspect that the cable goes here to the pump. Yeah, it seems like it is the case. Unacceptable. I mean, this goes to this. I mean, what's it? What is it? This room? What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god! Seriously? Holy fucking! Okay, that's that's interesting. This is somehow there is a pitch inside of here, like like even here is some pitch material, and so this inside looks quite a bit of burnt, but it's not burnt, it's just pitch. Okay, but it's copper, so I'm happy with that anyway. But actually, well, let's. Uh, let's Wait a second. So this is interesting because okay, I have live here. Here's neutral, and here's ground. That's as what I would expect. But here is another style of socket. This is not uh, not built inside, and here are only two wires, live and neutral, which is also serving as a ground. So. This is combination between TNC and TNCS system, which is, well, I guess it is what it is. Okay, so I still have some sunlight. Uh, let's do lights now. And yeah, there are lights. There is some light switch. There is light switch. There is light switch. There is light switch. There are a lot of light switches. And here as well. You know what? Are there light switches inside? Oh my god, I did not see this one. It's labeled as non-functional. Fuck me, Tifo. Okay, so I'm finishing up today. I discovered all the light switches where they go. For example, this one goes nowhere. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's no electricity in this room, but I discovered this thing. Uh, wait a second, what the fuck? But sure, I will to figure out today, uh, tomorrow, what that is. 
and these uh, switches are I guess that there is some automation going on here and this could be like I'm not sure if these are automated from the switch itself or from the distribution board I guess I would like to have a beer today all right today is the new day and I did a bunch of work the plot thickens I did I had to redo the schematic of the house because and even here could be like new room but anyway we'll get to there well I found this thing which is this room which is the last room the Aedes dungeon so I found the wire to there but okay we will get to there as I said the plot thickens and oh boy is it thick I found this thing and there has to be some automation going on I mean I took out this thing I assume this is some kind of timer I'm pretty sure that this is timer and this did control the lights that are like single push actuate, actuated this is some old big ass conductor this electrical box was following the cable and I figure out that it goes up here and so let's let's have a look up there and here it is a cable so I was following the cable it goes here there are loops which is fine expected and then I found this I'm like ah, okay but it goes still here and huh ah, ah, why <laughs> okay I'm going to tear this all down look at this huge ass antenna fucking hell this must have gained like 666 decibel did I say that the plot thickens already so I returned here I'm looking at this and I was like wait a second this is going up oh okay fine ah that would make sense but then I was, then I was like now oh, wait a second still holy shit there's more oh man oh man the, the thing is that I'm fine throwing these cables all away and then just using the existing holes to make a new wiring I mean I don't mind that this is wired in this place I mind that this is wired in this way so <sighs> okay I guess I will spend a while here so we'll see what I found out I have disassembled this distribution board and what I found basically is um, there are one two three four wires looks like fifth wire coming somewhere here and there is some there is something that looks like a fixture I did not see that before holy shit that looks like electrical box Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> okay, these two wires from Conduit go down to the room below. Okay, fine. There is one aluminium wire that goes down there as well. And there is this loop of wire that did go down and I know absolutely nothing what that is. Well, at this point, I do suspect that either the person that did this did not know what he is doing, or second option is that he did not care. And I think the second one is the most closest to the cr to the truth. But yeah. Oh my God, the plot. The plot thickens even more. So I have cut the wires that went through this conduit here. The conduit is no more. So, question is, why do you need 12 live wires? 
possibly 14 live wires going down here. What the fuck? <sighs> anyway... Have you seen this thing? Because a uh, vampire lived here. Well, anyway... Okay, so I am here in the sump station, I guess, let's call it that way. And I'm looking at this wire that goes that goes down and there is red wire so I'm looking for red green blue wire I think I saw it on the roof so let's see <laughs> got him ah look at this oh it's this wire mm, that's not good fuck what do I need to measure I'm pretty sure that this cable is the cable from the roof, but then isn't there isn't there any cable? Ah, 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 ah. Yes, got him. This cable goes to switch. Hey, hey. Guess what? This switch, this cable, I know the feeling of this cable. This cable goes here. This is this is the cable. This is the switch. <laughs> okay. And the water system is even perplexing still. Like, okay, this goes this goes down here for watering something then this is in steel pipe that goes that goes there but also comes here to the to the water closet I guess but also is connected to here and goes to the bathroom I guess and also goes down there and also <laughs> well no this is this is a boiler oh i see what the fuck i started chiseling out this wire and i was like where is this going because the distribution board is like down there i mean right right there so I mean, where is this going? I mean, it must be going down there, but but it isn't connected to anything. So anyway, I will continue in that. But I discovered these uh, two electrical boxes, and these are connected together for absolutely no fucking reason. But they are connected together, and guess what? They are not connected to anything. Like uh, motherfucker. Wait. Oh yeah. Oops. Sorry, cable. <sighs> okay. What the fuck do we have here? Well, I told that I did not see this type of cable anywhere here, but guess what? I did see it. It is right here. Motherfucker! Guys, guys, the plot, the plot! <laughs> look at that, look at that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this, this is some serious shit, dude. Who did this? Wow. Oh my god, the plot is now so thick that I think I found the next cable from the roof. It is right here, but where does it go? I think this is some sort of satanic ritual or something like that. Don't have any other words, really. Yeah, this, this box is very suspicious to me. I think there's... There's something going on there. So maybe, 
What are these bricks here? I can get there. Huh. This guy is playing games with me. Oops. Hey. Come here. Guess what figures? That's right. The plot. <sighs> so I chiseled out a fair bit of material and I, I'm not sure what am I looking at actually. What's a bit concerning that there is a fair bit of this uh, cement here and I, I think I will have to chisel a bunch more. I mean there are some cables coming down there. Oh and there is another cable here coming down there. What you guess it? There is another electrical box here. So I didn't have to chisel out more, just to find this cable being cast with cement, just like that. This loop, this loop here. It was cast like this. So it looked like there was one, two, three, four, five, uh, yeah, five cables, while in reality, there are only three. What the fuck? Wonderful. Wonderful. Like, what's the point? What's the fucking point? Now this goes s still this way. I mean, okay. And keep in mind, keep in mind that this guy could have used gypsum, but nah, he's just gonna cement it in place. As if that phrase didn't mean anything. I guess his mindset was, you know what? Let's do this once, do this properly, and never touch it again. And yeah, he never did. Yeah, I did crack the ceiling a little bit, probably. Anyway, worst case, I will repair it, repair that. <sighs> Alright, it's day number three. I have this wire connected to all three faces. Um, shorted. Okay, so I'm measuring con uh, conductivity or continuity. And... I got nothing. 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 Huh. Huh. And what this is, from experience, is a incandescent light bulb. So this isn't connected to the face, it is connected to a switch, to a bulb, and then to a face. The question is, to which face? It will be one of three switches, and I will find out right now, actually. Ha 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 ha. Well, at least I hope so. And I suspect it is this breaker. Bottom, 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 bottom. Okay. Click. Yeah, that's it? Okay. Oh, wait a second, these are lights in number six. It's a bit of overkill for one light, no? This is like two and a half millimeter copper. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Motherfuckers. Anyway. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see. Well, actually... Can I even... Okay, so this is disabled. I need more both hands for this. Brown, brown, yes. So I can mark this probably, I guess, on schematic somehow. Okay, one more remaining. Guess what I have found? Hmm, suspicious, isn't it? Well, there's one way to find out what there is. I mean, it could be the stuff that I was hammering yesterday, but considering how it is more whiter, I doubt it. Uh, uh, well, my bad. When I'm done with this, I think I will plaster this with alumina clay and fire it in place. That should do it, right? At this point, I'm not, I don't know why I'm not bothering, but 
started, started to pull this aluminium wire. I guess just I'm curious where is this going. This can give me an insight of where other cables are going. Indeed, it gives me insight. So instead of going in a straight line, like so, nah, it follows curve. Yeah, because that's, I guess, nicer or what. Yeah, anyway. I may have a look at this installation because this will be this will be 100% aluminium wire but maybe not, we'll see Good morning, today is the new day and I have started to label these wires Some of these switches go to the breaker, some of these go here I have traced the rings basically, I have traced the wires basically also some lights goes here and there is wire from the breaker coming here as well so I would know how to connect this if I wanted to but let me show you something else again light switch two black wires connected to the light a light with green and black wire these are literally one meter apart and these were not connected to anything, so I was like, okay, but wait a second, there is aluminium wire, and this aluminium wire is connected to this copper wire, literally 60 centimeters away. So there has to be fucking aluminium wire going so from here to here, and maybe there it transitions to copper and goes from here to there. And what the fuck, dude? Uh, uh, uh. I can't, I can't. Here there are two black wires, one is connected to the light. Here is light, there is brown and green wire. Do I trust that this is copper all the way? Fuck no! You know what, at this point I am thinking, fuck this shit, this cabling is going away and I am doing new cabling in conduits. You see, this is what... This is why we cannot have nice things. So I trace the aluminum wire, of course. That's pretty easy. I mean, I had to remove quite a bit of material here because I was like, okay, this is going there, so it must be somewhere here. No, it was going up, of course. To a box that was fucking buried to be never found again. Fuck you! Ha, huh, found it. I, I gave up at this portion because I was using the chisel as a drill with her like real drill and so this was easy because it was mostly under this white portion but this yellow one the the stuff fucking hell man this is this is this is stronger than some fucking quartz it's insane really anyway so I found it I can, I can, I can replace the wiring now, here. It's day number 4 or 5, or what do I know, and I'm contemplating. It's a nice sunny day. You see these cables, these are going to heating elements inside, or heaters, and I don't like that these are, these are outside like so. And as you can see, here is one of these. And I was thinking, you know what? I would probably like to do this. Remove this shelf, then uh, dig a hole to a panel, like big hole. This would probably allow me to get rid of some of these cables all together, pretty much. Then I could bury this wire already, which is already here. I mean, um, well, uh, yeah, I think I can do that. But anyway, then what I would like to do is dig a big ass hole to the roof, and then from the roof I can. Uh, get this cable, drill a hole here, then make a slot 
in the wall, down, there and there. It will do it much, much nicer. It, it, it's just better that way. You see, at this point I'm not even mad. It's not even funny to me. This is just another electrical box hidden behind the shelf. Okay, since I now I know that I will need it, I bought a grinder. I mean, first I bought a sender because I did not notice and I had to return to the city. Fucking hour wasted, but guess what? Yeah, one hand operation, isn't it? Good enough. Anyway, nah man, this dude didn't give a flying fuck about electrical installation here. So, this is the aluminium wire from the socket that was here, marked as non functional. So it goes up there. You can you can see it goes there like up and from up it goes down there and it it was just wrap around with the insulation tape and just plastered on top of the wall, not inside of the wall, on top of the wall. So there was a bulge and there was this cable. <laughs> Anyway, so this is where the magical loop was exposed with more this area. I did cut wire doing this. Oops. I measured how long is this concreted in. So from here to the roof it is about 35 or 40 centimeters. That's very 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 much. Not sure if I can do what I wanted to do, but I can now put these cables away and get a big fucking drill and just drill it. I mean, wouldn't be a problem doing that. Now, maybe you can see here, I mean, this hole probably was here already, but uh, you can see from here outside, you can see outside from here or inside of the distribution board. So, I know how thick this wall is basically and how can I get there it's not very thick and I can get there so I also marked where the distribution board is so here are dashed lines so you can see it's day 5 I was expecting a lot of work here pulling out this aluminium wire but turns out that it went here and uh, nowhere it was simply laid there not even a centimeter below the surface oh, okay fine and I think I will try if this well works because I need the clean water to wash my hands because I was washing my hands in this thing yeah not so clean is it Doesn't taste very good. I mean, not bad. A little bit irony. I shall continue in uh, this rabbit hole. So I will just free all the cables as much as I can. And I have created a technique for that. I will leverage a small drill for concrete. I mean, I'm using this thing as a drill. I drilled this off. It works very well, actually. If you, if you look, I mean, as soon as you have like a uh, surface, like crumbled, it eats it like nothing. But the thing is that uh, the geometry of the blade is then not very great. You need to sharpen it often. But this is carbide, so this should work very, very well. But the thing with this is that I'm using this uh, with hammer as well, and this has an SDS socket or mounting system. So you can see I have used a aluminium tube, so use as a sleeve, and this helps in the drill quite well actually. So since I need to drill a little bit bigger hole, I have this drill and this 
is also SDS mount and I have already put a tube here this should work well I mean not perfect but well enough so yeah I mean poor little drill that will be a little bit brutal for her but yeah what can you do got some water from the well maybe it wasn't a great idea to drink it well it's not very straight hole but it is a hole nonetheless you see I've started drilling quite close to this cable but I don't think it's it's that big of an angle nah this is this is pretty straight actually it must be these wires that go by a bit of angle that's not really great right so there is a hole and if you go if cable would go right down then the distribution board is right here so it would be better for me to really drill you know what I can measure this actually to drill like 20 to 30 centimeters from that point but there's a big concrete pad yeah so I don't need to drill that much far off like it would be 10 to 20 centimeters I guess is that correct let me let me recheck now this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be I think due to the fact that I'm drilling on the interface of brick and this hard material this drill managed to make a hole slightly bigger than itself which I'm not mad I want it as big hole as possible here oh yeah I made the hole exactly to here which is where I wanted it to be perfect now there will be a bunch of loose material I will remove that Yeah, this is a very nice hole. If I can make that hole in the brick up square, it will be perfect for what I want to do. Then I just cut a slot down and into the distribution board. Hey, that was pretty simple. Look at that. I have nice square hole all the way up. And I can make a slot down here. But uh, before I before I will do that, I would like to I would like to get to the distribution board. So I'm not quite sure how am I going to do it. Okay, so I'm now checking where I should put the channel, and I mark the end here, and beginning should be somewhere here. So that should work. I, however, drilled a hole here, because there was an opportunity to drill a hole. So I drilled a slot here, if I drill, then with some rusty saw blade I did, I did remove some uh, cement from, <coughs> cement around the brick, then I just bang it with hammer. Now it's now it's free. But I'll do the way how it breaked. Oh, uh, I, I I will have probably some trouble getting it out, but yeah it will go, it will go. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here it comes. Okay. Oh man, there's another brick here, but that doesn't really matter to me, I guess, because I don't care. Okay. I'm a little bit offset from the wall of the box, but I guess that's that's to be expected. I drew it like so, so yeah. Here's a hole, I mean this is offset, so it has to be this way. Alright, I used some techniques from Kamasutra 
and I have managed to get this cable out. If you look at the number of kings on it, I guess you understand how easy it was. Well, so I pulled out a bunch of wires that are not needed here, and there's not much left. Uh, I will probably get these wires off, these three wires off, and that should be that should be everything I need to remove this panel completely. So I may as well do it now, actually. So let's do it. <laughs> 